Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Arlington Weekly News. I'm Craig Nolan. Thanks for joining us. Happy 2012. I'm Daniel Pineda. And I'm Adele Quo. And here we go with another show for this, our uh, pre uh, Cinco de Mayo show. Olé. 2012. Olé to you. <laughs> okay. Olé, olé. Uh, news and Community Bulletin Board. Uh, Adele and. It's, it's easy, easy being green. green. Thank you for that. Um, Rich and his reviews, and Pia. Pia is back with us. Yep. And she's doing an interview with uh, the ladies from Dress Boutique. Connie and Winnie. Connie and Winnie from Dress Boutique. But before we begin, yes, Arlington Weekly here's a News reminder. is available at www.youtube.com/slash Arlington Weekly News and the number one. All right. Thanks, Daniel. Here we go. We begin tonight with uh, a county board item. Arlington County Board has adopted. It's general fund budget for fiscal year 2013. The budget came in at uh, over one billion with a B dollars. The budget includes a 1.3 percent increase. Um, that must be 1.3 cents, maybe. I don't know. An increase anyway in the real estate tax rate, and additional funding for affordable housing. The board adjusted several items in the county manager's proposed budget after input from <coughs> county residents. So it pays to uh, make your voice heard there. They listened. All right, Daniel. County board members have also made an informal agreement to give themselves a 2.3 percent raise. The raises will increase oh salaries from $49,000 <laughs> to just over $50,000. The raises are equivalent to the 2.8% average raise expected to be given to county employees. This will be the board's first raise in five years. For more information on the FY 2013 budget and on the board salaries, visit the Arlington County website. All right. I think we should all have that authority. Just vote ourselves a raise. What do you think? Uh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> for that? Yeah. Okay. Up next, uh, this story. Uh, the Bill Thomas Outstanding Park Service Volunteer Award is given by the county to honor and encourage residents dedicated to supporting natural resources and public open spaces. The winners for 2011 are Joan Horwitt, a former teacher who started an acclaimed sustainable agriculture program, and the Rock Spring Garden Club. They founded Rock Spring Park. The award was created as a tribute to lifelong park volunteers, Bill Thomas. For more information, search Bill Thomas at www.arlingtonva.us slash DPR. Yeah, congratulations. To that sounds, sounds like a good yeah. one. Yeah. All right. Congratulations. Yeah. Daniel. Well, the firing of a popular teacher at Bishop O'Connell High School in Arlington has sparked protests. Students showed up in front of the school last week to support John Harrison, their former world history and practical law teacher. The former Army infantry officer and trial lawyer plans to file an age discrimination lawsuit. Bishop O'Connell officials declined to comment on the specifics of the situation. All right. I think he's right. Hang in there, Bill. And this item up next here, the board, the uh, county board, has approved a use permit for Westover Farmers Market. Over 20 vendors in the open air market will provide locally grown produce and other goods. The market will open on the 6th of May in the 1700 block of North McKinley Road between Washington Boulevard and the Reed School parking lot. Free parking is available. It's also near East Falls Church Metro on the Orange Line. For more information, visit westover-farmers-market.org or email them at westover-farmers-market at hotmail.com. And you can find out uh, a whole lot more about Westover Farmers Market. All right, we'll be back with uh, more CBB items after we hear from Adele. And it's, it's easy, easy being green. green. Here's Adele. Hey, Adele. Cole. Well, thanks, guys. And that was a nice segue to talking about edibles. So it is easy being green by growing your American edible beauties. Your home garden should be a perfect blend of beauty and function as more families discover that American edible plants can provide beauty year-round Homegrown produce can move from being limited and separate in the backyard vegetable patch to being incorporated throughout your landscape. 
Sadly, I only have time to mention my top three native edibles, starting with the strikingly different native fruit tree, the American persimmon. It's urban tolerant, soil adaptable, and cold hardy. This medium-sized ornamental tree offers an artistic habit, a distinctive bark that is very handsome, with magnolia-like foliage that turns yellow-orange in the fall. It has fragrant lily-of-the-valley-like flowers, an edible custard-like fruit that shines like brilliant orange tree ornaments against bright blue winter skies. Blueberries. Every garden should include this underutilized and beautiful ornamental shrub. If you only have room for one edible plant, blueberries should be among your top choices. Primarily a deciduous shrub, the dark green or blue-green leaves put on a spectacular fall display turning red or yellows. Some varieties display red or yellow twigs for winter interest, and clusters of pinkish-white dainty flowers appear from spring to summer. The grayish-blue edible fruit that we love might not even make it into your kitchen, as it is jam-packed with nutrients and antioxidants. And how about cerisberry? How can you not plant one or more of these plants? The cerisberry is an elegant small tree or large multi-stem shrub that reveals nice gray bark, fragrant white spring flowers, and blue deep purple or red summer fruit, and fantastic fall foliage that make it a very popular ornamental tree. The showy fruit is delicious, eaten right out of your hand, or on cereal, in jams, or pies. So remember, it's easy being green by adding American edible plants into your garden today. Thanks very much. Thank you, okay, Adele. Okay, thanks, Adele. That was a very eloquent description of a persimmon tree. Yes, have you there's seen a, them? I have, and there's a lot of them around there, and they have an edible fruit as well. Absolutely. Persimmons yes, are, uh, you could probably make wine out of persimmons. I, I have not heard that. I will <laughs> try persimmon it Persimmon wine, give it a try. Okay. Excellent. Thanks, Adele. Here we go with uh, more items now on our news and CBB file. The Arlington Civitan Club uh, is looking for volunteers at their monthly garage sale and flea market, which is held on the uh, I-66 parking garage right next to uh, Washington Lee High School. The garage sale flea market um, is held on the first Saturday of every month, now through November, uh, in the parking deck right next to Washington Lee High School. Volunteer opportunities include helping at the snack bar, parking place, money collection, and cleanup. Cleanup, there's always cleanup after the sale. High school students can volunteer uh, if they're accompanied by a parent or a guardian. Guardian, for more information on this volunteer opportunity, 703-473-7245. Daniel. Capital Caring Hospice Services needs volunteer lawyers to help their seriously ill patients and their families. Work would include helping with simple medical and end-of-life uh, legal documents such as wills and powers of attorney. No complex trust work will be assigned. This type of assistance helps bring some peace of mind to patients with fatal diseases and injuries. Lawyers must be a member of the Virginia Bar. Active and retired lawyers are welcome. Call 703-351-2811 for more information. All right, other volunteering opportunities now, Daniel. The USO of Metro Washington needs volunteers to assist military service members, dependents, reservists, and retirees. They'll be using the USO Lounge at Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall. Volunteers are expected to become familiar with the USO's information resources regarding USO services uh, and events, as well as services and facilities available at the JBMHH facility, Joint Base Meyer. Uh, volunteers must be at least 18 years of age uh, they also must commit to a minimum of two shifts per month, and the shifts uh, run daily from noon to 4 and from 4 to 8 p.m. On weekdays, there's also a morning shift from 8 a.m. till noon. All volunteers must attend an orientation before starting their duties. For more information, 703-696-0958. And Daniel and I will be back with news for seniors right after we hear from Rich Misabney, our man about town, and his reviews. Here's hey Rich. Rich. How are you? Thank you. Thank you, my friend. You know, Washington Lee High School does good stuff, good plays, and they're doing uh, Fiddler on the Roof uh, on three days, May 3rd, 4th, and 5th at 7 p.m. over at WNL. 
Uh, I want to give you the phone number of the place. Of course, 703-228-6200. You can call there about tickets, information, anything you want. Uh, but uh, I know they do good stuff, and uh, Audrey Ebola is one of the main people there uh, behind the, the stage. Thank you very much. Uh, let me uh, go on now to the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra, which uh, played on April 19 uh, uh, under the baton of Jack Everly. He's, uh, he does their pop stuff. Uh, a wonderful program. Uh, they had five wonderful, wonderful singers. Uh, they did Miss, stuff from Miss Saigon, uh, Les Miserables, uh, and it's a great show. Uh, BSO, if you're interested in more stuff, is bsomusic.org. Uh, I never got tired of seeing Agatha Christie's writ Witness for the Prosecution, even though I know the surprise ending, and it is a surprise. If you haven't seen or read this riveting story and courtroom drama recently, get yourself over to the Little Theater of Alexandria uh, to see uh, uh, just a wonderful show uh, through May 12th. This Who Done It stars Mark Lee Adams as defense attorney Sir Wilfred Robards, uh, Russell Sieber as defendant Leonard Vol, and uh, Ro Robin er Zerby as the fiery wife of, uh, of uh, uh, Vol. Uh, Good supporting cast, uh, directed uh, nicely by Eddie Page. For tickets and information, see Witness of Prosecution, call 703-683-0496, or check the website, <coughs> The Little Theater. Uh, anyone who, uh, who is anybody to do with theater in the metropolitan area knows about the Helen Hayes Awards. And uh, the other night, actually Monday night, at the Warner Theater in the district, this, uh, there was winners in 26 categories. And it was in a big event at the at the uh, at the uh, uh, what the heck is it uh, the Warner Theater, and uh, then after that everybody went over to the Marriott for a little uh, refreshments later. Actor Kevin Spacey was a real hit. He was honored there for uh, what he's done for society in general, and uh, he even had a clip there of President Clinton talking about him. Um, Anyway, uh, it's, uh, it, it's a great show, and uh, uh, Linda Le uh, Levy uh, Grossman is a, is a CEO, and uh, Victor Shagai is a chairman. Full list of the winners, and you might want to know who they are, is check uh, theaterwashington.org or call 202-337-4522. Uh, Theater J in the district has a gripping story set in Richmond, Virginia, at the end of the Civil War. The Whipping Man, it's called. It's about two recently emancipated slaves uh, and the plantation owner's son, uh, a white guy, obviously, uh, named Caleb, played by Alexandra Strain, uh, who was severely wounded. Uh, John uh, is the other guy, the same age, uh, early 20s, as uh, Caleb. He's a young slave. And then Simon, the older black guy, David Emerson Tony, who raised the, the both kids. Um, this is interesting dynamic, dynamics here because they were all raised Jewish back then and they're celebrating a Passover Seder. The murder of President Lincoln weighs heavily on these three men. The Whipping Man was written by Matthew Lopez and directed by Jennifer Nelson. This, see this, uh, Theater J, if you want to see some kind of acting, a Theater J uh, on 16th Street. It closes May 20th. Information and tickets call 202-777-3230 or check the web, theaterj.org. Anyone who's ever read anything by Chicago guy Studs Terkel will find the book Working, the musical, uh, about people in various lines of work, very interesting. Here are just a few of the jobs featured in Keegan Theater's production of Working, a bartender, a press agent, a caretaker, a fireman, a policeman, a bricklayer, and more. A large, talented cast uh, brings to life in song uh, about the chores they go through. David Shirley Saratsky makes, uh, makes it all work. Working the musical runs through May 13 at the Church Street Theater in the district. It's, it's just between 17 and 16. Uh, for information, call 703-892-0202 and check the web at uh, keegantheater.com. Uh, finally, I want to tell you, you know, I'm nuts about restaurants, right? Uh, there's a great family-owned restaurant and a shopping center at uh, 7770 Richmond Highway in Alexandria called Cosmopolitan Grill with an East European flair by proprietors Emila Svalina out front and her husband Ivan is in the back as a chef and even they have their daughter Carmela waiting on table sometimes. They have a full menu and bar. 
schnitzel is a favorite, whether it's a traditional flattened, breaded, uh, and fried avena on the, uh, or the yaga schnitzel with a creamy mushroom sauce, or the zurshi with strips of veal in a mushroom cream sauce. Anyway, uh, there's chicken on there, chicken schnitzel. I'm, I love dining at a family-owned restaurant. They take so much pride in their food and everything. The menu includes, of course, steaks and crab cakes and lamb chops and sandwiches, salads. The Cosmopolitan Grill is definitely worth the trip, I'm telling you. Get to know these nice folks and their wonderful food. Reasonable prices, too. Uh, their phone number is 703-360-3660, or you check their website, which is www.restaurant-cosmopolitan.com. And they're nice people, and then the food's nice, too. Thank you. All right, Rich, yeah. check it out at 7777, uh, what is it? 7770. Oh, 7770, Richmond, Richmond Highway. Yeah. Yeah. Enough sevens? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a good little mom and pop place. It is. That's the way to put it. There you go. Nice. All right, nice. thanks, nice, Rich. Nice people, right? Yeah. We appreciate it. Here's Promise Now News for Seniors on this edition of the Arlington Weekly News. May is Older Americans Month, and Cheryl Johnson, manager of Arlington's Office of Senior Adult Programs, says this is a good time for seniors and their families to stop by a neighborhood senior center. Visitors can meet the center director, talk about the center's activities and programs, and find out how to register for the 55 plus pass. This pass is needed to take part in the center's programs. There's a small annual fee of $20, not bad. It's also good for discounted trips arranged by the 55 plus travel office. For more information, give them a call, 703-228-4744, or visit arlingtonva.us, and then type in 55 plus pass um, in the search box, and that'll give you lots more information. Daniel. Well, Craig, a new director has been appointed to the Langston Brown Senior Center. Her name is Elizabeth Poole. She's lived in Arlington for the past 20 years. Prior to working at Langston Brown, she served as a special events person for the city of Petersburg. Poole is a graduate of Frostburg State University with a BS degree in recreation. She also is the mother of a 14-year-old twin daughters. For more information about Langston Brown activities, call 703-228-6300. And uh, another item in our News for Seniors file, there are two senior biking groups in Arlington. One is an informal group that meets every Wednesday in the morning at 9. Uh, they meet at the Bluemont Park Pavilion located at Wilson Boulevard and North Manchester Street. And the second group is called the 55 Plus Biking Group and they plan longer and more ambitious rides. For more information on both groups, here's the number, 703-228. 4771 or email 55 plus biking group at arlingtonva.us. That's a long email. Yeah, but it's biking is good. So yeah, biking is good. Yeah. Check it out. Daniel. Well, Craig, Lee Senior Center and Culpepper Garden Senior Center both have walking clubs. Walking they travel too, to yeah. various locations for weekly walking programs. Aurora Hills has a fast-paced walking club that walks in a two to three mile radius of the center. Langston Brown has an indoor walking program in the gymnasium at the center. Uh, each senior center, including Walter Reed and Arlington Mill, has a wide variety of fitness and sport activities such as yoga, pilates, zumba, weight rooms, and much more. For more information about these fitness programs, well, just give them a call at 703-228-4745. And, of course, we want to thank our own Judy Misomni. Thanks, Judy. You're the, you're the best. Thank you so much, uh, the Office of Senior Adult Programs, for bringing us this information. Thank you. Okay. Almost done now. Hang in there. Uh, Pia Samre, our interviewer, has been on assignment for a while. She's back now. And uh, this week she's talking with the ladies from Dress Boutique. Pia. Connie Mejio is here. I love saying Connie's name. Connie Mejio, it just makes you want to laugh and sing. And uh, welcome, Connie. Welcome oh, to the show. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. What kind of a business do you own? You look gorgeous. Well, I have a boutique, 
And what I do is I market and rent uh, dresses for dancers who are just beginning to compete. And that makes, and I do rent and sell affordable gowns and dresses. I also have um, evening dresses, shoes, and jewelry. And for, for everyone for who competes. Mm -hmm. And now we have a lovely model coming on. Oh, Tell us yeah. about our model. Yes, this Come is, on on. This is Winnie Cruz, and Woo! she's been dancing for many, many years. And That's she's beautiful. an accomplished dancer, and she's wearing a very, very fine, customized Latin outfit. One hot dancer and a yes, hot dress. Yes, she is. <laughs> and a cool earrings, too. Yes. Both of these ladies actually can dance. And Winnie, could you also turn these around for us? These are some of Connie's other dresses that you uh -huh. sell. Tell me, how did you get started? I got started when a friend of mine decided to retire from dancing. And we would invite dancers Thank you, in Winnie. and serve refreshments and have a good old time. And then in 2008, I decided, wow, I could do that for myself. Yay, go <laughs> Connie. And you sell it all. You do the bling on the shoes. I do and bling, yeah. You, you bling it up. You mm -hmm. bling the dresses. Mm -hmm. and if you have some dresses that are very plain, that's in your closet, an affordable way is for me to uh, uh, put on bling and rhinestones on the dresses. You are amazing. I've been to Connie's place and... Oh my God, it is such a treat to go there. and It's like go going Connie into a there. candy store for dancers. Oh my God, <laughs> it, is, it is fantastic, fantastic. And Connie, has Dancing with the Stars helped your business? Oh yes, there's been booming. And uh, dancers from the Country Western, from Dance Sport, as well as Arthur Murray have been my clients. And they often come and try on dresses. That's and great. it's a lot of fun to try on dresses for three hours. <laughs> oh my God, it's like a candy store, like you said, better uh -huh. than a candy store. And tell me, you've also had cancer fundraisers. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, about uh, a year ago in June, I was diagnosed with um, stage four ovarian cancer. And that was devastating in itself. It but then I found out that uh, there's so much been research Mm -hmm. and advancements so that I decided to do something for uh, the American Cancer Society. And you, you are doing fine now. I'm in remission. Woo! And you, you are amazing. Oh, and you're well, helping everybody out there. Yes. And yes. there are so many people out there. Uh -huh. And you just had a fundraiser recently. Yes. Tell us it, a little bit about that. Well, Elgin Studio decided that they would offer their help. So they provided the building and the room. Mm -hmm. And then I contacted American Cancer Society, and we proceeded on March 10 to have the charity. And you raised a lot of money at Elegant Dancing in yes, Vienna, and that raised, was great. We raised about $2,200. And I hear you're going to have another fundraiser in the future, so you're going to have to come on and tell us uh, a little bit about it. And look, here's our wonderful model. Tell Tell us. Well, this what is, is Winnie wearing? Cruz, our lovely maiden. I call she's them very amazing. beautiful. And she's wearing a smooth gown. And this is something that you would dance with tango, waltz, uh, foxtrot. And, and smooth means those are the dresses that are floor length. And you both are mega competitors. And I don't know if people saw her bracelet. I mean, it's sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. And tell me also about how do people get in touch with you? Well, if they, they want to look like Winnie and if they want to look like Connie, how do they do it? Oh, they just come to my boutique and then uh, maybe look on the website, CSW, uh, CS Ballroom Boutique, and then just contact me by calling the number that's on the screen, and then they can make an appointment. That's great. And your wonderful son, Kevin, sent it up, and you have dancers from all different studios oh, all yeah. over, helping uh -huh. you, Cummings, and evening gowns, everything. Mm -hmm. Well, Connie Mejia, thank you for coming on. Oh, Winnie you're Cruz, very welcome. You are lovely. Thank you for coming on. And please go visit Connie, and her fundraisers are amazing. Please join us again. Now back to the desk. Okay, all right, thanks, Pia. And uh, Winnie. Winnie, Connie and Winnie from yeah. Dress Boutique. We should also look so festive and know how to dance, right?
Anything yeah. else? <laughs> That's okay, it. Okay, we got to go. So yeah. Good night, good night, good night. Well, YouTube.com slash Arlington Weekly News. Uh, check us out on the yeah. YouTube. And uh, thanks for joining us on this edition of the Arlington Weekly News. Have a safe week. Watch us next week right here on AWN. Take care. Bye-bye.